Hello fellow engineers, we are back with Hydraneer again. We're gonna continue where we left off last time. I managed to reset my game and get rid of all these beds. <laughs> Thank goodness. The aim of this episode is to try and get some automation going. I've saved up a bit of money. I might take away my dam and turn that into cash. I haven't quite decided yet. But we're just going to go have a quick look in the shop before we do any digging. Let's get my money, just in case. So my money is... Where is my money? Where's my money? Shit in a sock. I've lost my money. I've got 65 quid. Where's the rest of it? Hmm, that's not good. Let's just see. Did I leave it up by the shop? Bloody better done. It was 300 quid. Right, I found my money. Thank God. <laughs> so we'll go put this over here. Take our money. Out of it and then go see in the other shop how much the kind of automated stuff costs. This bloody turning circle gets on my tits, man. Banked corner, nice, like it. <laughs> conveyor nation, this sounds like my sort of thing. So, conveyor belts, let's just see how much these are 200 each. Balls, <laughs> tools, and equipment. Okay, so this is like the other shop, but a bit bigger, I think. Oh, it says how much they cost on it. It's the little C thing. Blimey, everything's really expensive. I'm going to have to do a bit more mining first. Right, well, I wasn't going to be doing some hand digging. I'm just going to buy this improved shovel for now. Why can't I buy an improved shovel? Maybe you need something to unlock it, do you? How random. Because I couldn't buy it last time, if you remember correctly. Oh no, I've got no money. <laughs> oh, I am so stupid. And that's obviously why I couldn't buy it last time. I only had 65 quid in my thing. Sorted. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, so everything's in the back. We are going this way back and we're going to do some digging. By the way, as I'm an engineer, let's, let's just do a little bridge review. What is this bridge like? Uh, not too bad. It's a bit too square. You'd be better off using triangles rather than the squares. C plus, I reckon. Alright, so let's see what this new shovel is like. I'm gonna put my old one just out the way for a second. Up by this post. Whoa, shit. <laughs> I said up by this post. Oh, thank you. Get my bed out the way. What are you doing, shovel? Just stay up there. Right, so new shovel. How are we looking? Oh, it digs a shitload of dirt. Oh, it fills it up in two. Yes, that is a lot quicker. Getting in the old rhythm now. Nice, we are speed running this. Barely touched the water and it still worked. Nice. Oh shit, come back, come back. Oh, what's that one? Cloutium ore. A nugget of cloutium can be melted in crucible into a bar or sold to the jeweler. Interesting. All right, so I think I kind of want to be in a position where I can work can work my way down this edge because I've been told that the lower you go the better the gold is so we're gonna try and go low and I think using an edge as guidance is the right thing to do I think we'll get there in no time with this shovel if I can bloody put the bucket down on a flat bit of land all right we'll go clean up these chunks and see how well we're doing I can't get this one in Oh, there's a... <laughs> Things do seem to go a bit mental physics-wise in this game. It's pretty interesting though. So it was you. I wonder, can I clean stuff underwater? Because that could save some time. Yes, okay. I'm going to do it that way for now. You can see my dam's working well, keeping me nice and dry on this side. <laughs> when to become a... Need some love like I never need love before. Gonna make love to you, baby. Yeah, a little love. Now back for more. Gonna make love to you, baby. And I can't you see? It's the only way to be. Fuck me, was I just singing Spice Girls again? This game it makes me go a little bit insane. Right, so we are actually getting quite a way down now. Well, that's a Sheer face though, I don't know how to get out of there. Shit! Oh, that was good catch, Matt. Good catch. No! There we go. 
tell you what, actually. I am going to... I know that there is a pickaxe. Where's my money? Where's my money? Give me more money. Right, so there's a pickaxe, and this will save a lot of time. Because I think, whilst I do want money, I think it's better to spend the time to get deep first. So this will allow me to dig really quick. But I won't be able to save any... I won't be able to keep any of the chunks. But it will allow me to dig. So I'm going to shove my light down there. <laughs> Hope it didn't break. And um, we're going down. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. Why do I only come up with these ideas, like, <laughs> after I've committed hours of time? Oh, it seems to be levelling off a bit. Is this the bottom, do we think? I think it might be, you know? Right, I'm gonna dig, like, a staircase. Right, we're nearly out. We're nearly out. Okay, so we've got a nice entrance to the bottom now. Thank you, pickaxe. You saved a lot of time. Oh my god, this game. Right, you're part of the dam now. <laughs> Can't be asked for that one. <laughs> I think my dam's just going to be all the reject boulders that don't make it. Right, so we're there with our first sort of clean up. I'm going to try and pour one of these into the other one. And then if I pour that back in, do I lose the water? Yes. Shit, but I lost every... <laughs> okay, let's pick up all these bits. Thankfully, there is an item that can help with these sorts of situations. It's like a little magnet on a stick that I saw in the shop and it picks up like everything in one go. So I might invest in one of those if I'm gonna spill shit this often. All right, so I reckon then let's take, what should I take down? A little bucket, I wish there was water down here. That would be really handy. Oh, it's not flat. Why is it not flat anywhere in this bloody game? Yes, we found somewhere flat. Okay, so let's keep with the low level stuff. Where was it? Oh, for frig's sake. To be honest, does it even need to be upright? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, there's me spending bloody five minutes every time putting it down. It doesn't matter. Well, that's proper sped up the process. If I'd known the bucket didn't have to be upright. <laughs> Flying now, proper cooking on gas. All right, as a little test then, let's go see if these are any better. All right, let's go do this above ground just so we can see. You ready? Whoa! What was that? Where did that go? There it is. It's a proper nugget, that is. Okay, this was worth doing. I reckon then, you need a conveyor belt to bring it to the surface. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take both these buckets to the shop. Like my kind of normal one, which took probably twice as long. And we'll just compare to see how much better the bottom is. Right, and the last boulder from this little... I don't know, it's only like 5-10 minute... Little sesh down there. Right, so this one certainly looks more impressive. There's no shards, surprisingly. Alright, so here we are, side by side. So, this was my first bucket. It took a lot longer and there was probably two or three times as much dirt in it. This one, a lot less, but from the bottom. So, we'll try this one first. 344. I will take it. And now, this one. 374. Sweet. So, we know it's a hell of a lot quicker. The kind of good thing about digging underground as well is when I pick up stuff and then blocks of dirt go mental. I know they're kind of trapped in here with me, so I'm a bit less worried about losing stuff that flies off randomly because of the physics. Like that. See? You're not going anywhere, mate. I really don't know if I'm doing this the best way, but the sun is rising again. <laughs> I mine through the night. This is proper, like, a bombing run. So, like, quick, pick up your bombs. Again, drop them off, straight back down. Whoa. Right, so that's the last of the rocks out. Now let's clean them up. Right, seems like a reasonable haul again. Let's go see what this one's worth. And then I'm going to buy some shit. And make this a bit quicker. 650, decent. But I think that's only, like, one bit of pipe. Which isn't so decent. Let's go see what we can buy to make life easier. So 1600 we got. 
Oh, these don't cost a lot, actually. 36. All right, let's start with a furnace. Obviously a crucible. I'm not 100% sure on why yet. A mold. A hammer to make stuff. A grinding wheel. I think we're going to proper make a business here. How much are we on? Oh, we're only on 300. Yeah, we'll buy that so we can take all this with us now. I might leave this stuff this side of my claim just because I feel like I might be moving this to my next site. Because I don't know if I'm going to be here for too long. Tell you what, I'm going to buy a few bits of pipe as well and just see what the dealio is. But without any equipment, I don't really see the benefit, if I'm honest. Shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Well, that one's gone forever. <laughs> Definitely no benefit if you place it underground. Ah, oh, I've just realised the benefit now. I can bring... I can bring the water to down here. See, I don't know if this is any quicker than just being underwater. It's, it's not going to be quicker if they fall back down. No, that's pointless. My bombing run method is a lot more efficient. Right, so that took five minutes of mining, three minutes to get them up to the surface. The question is, how long does washing them take? And whatever takes the longest, that's what I will try and automate. Okay, so that's all the pieces. How well did we do? Can I see? Okay, not too bad. Let's uh, just pour... Actually, let's take it over here. Right, I'm not entirely sure how to do this, but let's pour it out. So I'm guessing we want to put the gold into there. I don't know if that's turned on or how to turn it on. There's stuff in, I swear it should be like a color. Okay, so that's all our gold in there. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot though. Place down to use. Okay, so maybe it just doesn't work on the road. We'll give it a few minutes. Okay, so I did see we had a gem. So an uncut ruby. So let's... Oh! Now we've got an actual ruby. Excellent, okay. These aren't melting. Oh, that's why I didn't place it, I just dropped it. Idiot. Absolute idiot. They're taking their time. Oh, there we go. So now we can take that, pour it in. Now I can take the gold and bung it on there, I guess. In the meantime, I will take that gem Bung that on, and then I should be able to hit it with my hammer. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Doing this all wrong again. I haven't placed the bloody anvil. So placing means click. Right, so the anvil's there. And then hopefully when I hit it with a hammer, hit the anvil with the required resources placed on top. Okay, so I, surely that's going to make something. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Anyway, we'll pour this out. Now we've got an iron, bit of iron. Right, so we've got a weeny bit of cloutium, a load of gold, a ruby that we can't do shit with. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to make some jewellery. I'm a bit annoyed, not gonna lie. Anyway, we'll put all this in here and then just see what this is worth. I think last time we had $670. So hopefully you're making it all into bars and polished jewels. Should be worth a little bit more. No, okay, that wasn't worth doing. <laughs> can any of this be sold? No, see, you can make all this sort of stuff, I swear. I just don't know how. I am going to go find out for the next episode. Boy!